Hi everyone, my name is Salman and uh, it's my first TED talk. I'll be talking about experiences, challenges, stories and inspiration. So uh, the way I view life is as a movie. A movie that we came into this life not knowing where we came from and not knowing where we're going. All we can see is the current moment that we're in. And this current moment, uh, sometimes we're faced with difficulties, sometimes we're faced with challenges, opportunities, and I believe we should always focus on this current moment. Because as in, as in the movie, you never know what's coming next. You never know what opportunities are going to be coming uh, your way. You don't know what is, what's in the future for you. All you know is the current uh, moment that you are, you are in right now. Experiences are what, ma what make up our lives. We are here today because many people had experiences and discovered the light bulb, discovered technology, and they share these experiences with others. So hum the man uh, hum humanity is, uh, is accumulation of all these experiences that we, we have here today. This is my, my tent buddy, Ronan, and myself as, as well. Um, I met Ronan through a journey. We, we, both have, um, we both have an aim or a dream to ski to the South Pole. And for me, myself, I come from a, from a background where I live in Qatar, it's a desert. I've never seen snow before. I never lived in uh, cold conditions, minus 25 degrees. This is very new to me. I've never uh, skied before in my life. So to go to the South Pole, I had to learn how to ski. I had to learn how to uh, camp in the, um, in the harsh conditions, uh, learn how to put, out, put up the fire, learn how to ski for 10, 10 hours a day, um, build up the stamina. Uh, that was all new to me. And I, I didn't know what kind of challenges were going to come my way. But I decided I have to go ahead and Try, try something new. It was a challenge. It was a challenge because it was outside of my comfort zone. It was outside of what I, what I know. Um, and we're faced with challenges every day in life. Now these challenges, they could be big, they could be small. Um, they could be just um, arriving here on time. Um, it could be just um, um, calling your parents once a week. Or uh, saying, telling your wife, I love you. Or even your mother. Um, or giving her a hug as well, for once in a while. Um, so th these challenges are all around us. And uh, I believe that we grow through challenges. We develop through challenges. And the way to develop and grow is if we go out and choose an area that we uh, want to develop even further um, and just take a step in, into, that, um, into that arena. So... This is a picture of me um, and Ronan. We're skiing in Greenland. We crossed about 400 kilometers. And it was my first time taking an expedition um, that, that long. We're on the ice for about 18 days. And um, it, was, it was difficult. But as, as I went along day by day, you know, I, I, got, I got the hang of it. I got to learn that... Um, even though that there are some difficulties, I discovered new parts of myself that I didn't know before. Um, in the beginning, I hated it. I just wanted, I was counting the days until I end the expedition. But expedition after expedition, experience after experience, I learned that uh, I actually like this. I like putting myself in harsh conditions. Um, a couple, uh, yeah, last year and the year before that, I climbed a mountain with my, uh, my mother, my sister, and the year after that, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro with uh, my whole family and my wife, who was in the audience as well. Um, it was a challenge for us just being as a family on the mountain. Uh, you can imagine any family being um, having lunch or barbecue together. Um, sometimes families, they can get rowdy. But um, if so imagine us being on the mountain all, all together, going at altitude, taking steps, and um, for the first time as well. Um, and through these challenges and these experiences, we're left with stories. 
And these are stories that we can leave behind. These are stories that we can tell our children, that we can leave in society, that other people may see it and that they know what is possible. These stories, we have them here today. And I want to emphasize on um, live stories or living stories, people who are living here with us today. Um, instead, of, instead of focusing on people who they, you know, I have, I put my hat down or my ghetfa down to uh, Albert Einstein and the many of geniuses that came before us. Uh, but we need role models in society, role models that the youth can look up to and see what they made possible. So they, that they may say that if he did it, I can do it. Um, which leads me to the next point, which is inspiration. I believe that inspiration comes from within. There is no such thing as an inspirational speaker. You cannot speak inspiration into anybody. It comes from within. And the way that we get inspired is we go through new experiences. We go through challenges. And with challenges come more opportunities, more struggle, more criticism, more opposition, and more pressure. These, these pressure and these opportunities, what makes life? We wouldn't be here today if we didn't have all this pressure that's around us, if we didn't have all this opportunity that's around us. So I encourage everybody to take a step forward and go into and explore yourself, and explore the unknown potential that's within yourself. Now I may ask the audience today, when, when was the last time you tried something for the first time? Um, I was uh, in, in university and for a long time I felt that my life was kind of normal and I, I haven't had anything to tell. Um, after I've been golfing for uh, many years. And I decided to, um, to get a skydiving license. And I, and I did. And I found it was fun, even though that I'm scared of heights. Uh, you know, in the beginning, I didn't know what it's, what it's going to be like, but later on, uh, it, felt, it felt really good. And I went and I did it again and again and again. And I didn't know that I liked that. But just by going and trying something new, um, you would be uh, surprised. This is Antarctica behind me. This is uh, about 1,200 kilometers from the, the coastline until the South Pole. This is my dream to reach the South Pole. And um, when, when I first decided to go and try to achieve this goal, I didn't know what experiences, what, uh, what, what I had to do. I had no clue whatsoever. And, uh, it's been two years of experience, two years of struggle, two years of um, uh, going on expeditions, and I got married at the same time. I had to plan my wedding. Uh, it, was, it was difficult. Um, and now my wife today, she tells me uh, she's pregnant. So, okay. so, so more so when when you grow as a family when you when you grow as a family you might be having uh, a child soon uh, the first child may be uh, a struggle and then you have that and you you think that you have everything under control but then you have another child and you feel uh, okay this is all new territory i think a lot of people in the audience may be uh, experience that and you, even especially if you're a brother or a sister you might feel like uh, um, there's a new member to the family um, I just want to finish with this. This is me in, in Greenland. I come from Qatar. We're a country that we face challenges, um, political challenges, environmental challenges, um, social challenges, sustainable challenges. And it's because of these challenges what makes us stronger. It's because of these challenges that makes us developed. It makes us have a self-determination, um, having self-development and being self-defining. So I encourage everyone to go out and embrace the challenges because you don't know anything until you've, you've, you've tried it. And um, I have maybe about three rules that I kind of uh, go by when I'm going to do my challenge. They're more like guidelines. The first rule is um, you must choose your challenge. It must come from within you that you choose that you, what you want to explore, what you want to do. The second is you don't know something until you've achieved it. And the third is never tell anybody about your challenges. Don't tell anybody about your challenges until you start in the process, until you start taking the challenge. I watched a TED talk a while back and it says you, your chances of succeeding 
uh, are, are lower if you tell people because of the self-gratification that you get at the beginning. And um, I, watched, I watched a movie, I think, a, I think a month ago, and it's called Unbreakable. And I just want to finish with this. He said in the movie that a lot of people find it very difficult to believe that there is extraordinary, extraordinary potential inside of them, as well as in others. I hope you can keep an open mind. Thank you.